I'm gonna just go ahead and call the month of September slow September because for me it is time to like slow down August was so busy and non-stop that I'm so excited to just slow down rest and reset welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel my name is Alexis Ashley I am a faith based I don't like the word content creator but yeah I'm just here because the Lord told me to be here I'm just here so I don't get fired in the words of Marshawn Lynch okay seriously you guys welcome back if you watched my summer travel vlog August like really busy non-stop on the go and I'm excited about just like being still um, picking back up my pace. I'm getting back into my flow of really like digging deep into Ezekiel. Today is August 31st. I just got back from a cruise. Well, I went on a cruise, literally got off the boat, um, flew from Los Angeles to Memphis to go spend time with my family then flew home from Memphis back here to Atlanta. And I just been in a place of like resting, resetting, really ending my August in a way that sets the tone for my September. But I'm super excited about September. I've been reading this and it has been so good, so rich for September is just really focusing in on Ezekiel. That's really where I want my attention to be focused on is fellowshipping with God in the book of Ezekiel. I know my last video on my intentions for July, I knew for July there were two books that I wanted to focus on. One of the books was The Awe of God. The Awe of God has been such a huge delight i my favorite subject if we're if we're talking about like a topical subject in the bible like i know some people do topical studies so if we're talking about like a topical subject outside of salvation i would say the fear of the lord would be like my favorite biblical subject and this book is about walking and living in the fear of the lord and this book is so good i highly 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 recommend any woman of god any christian to read this book it's really good the way that this book is set up it's like week one week two week three week one day one week one day two week so you can do it like a devotional but it's, I wouldn't consider this a devotional, but the way it's set up, you do your, you know, your day daily reading, which I love. This book was so good. I feel like, just like what I told you guys, like with my Bait of Satan book, that I would be going back and just reading some of the annotations and the highlights and the tabs. I'll be doing the same thing with this book. I have a journal like i journaled through this book so even going back and reading my journal notes but as far as adding any books i'm gonna kind of slow down from reading books and just really focus on the word there was another book that i said in the month of july that i wanted to read alongside of the all of god which was delighting in the trinity unfortunately i just had too much going on i was not able to read find time to read this book and read this book and keep up with my bible studies so something had to give honestly but i just have one week left in the awe of god as far as what i'm going to be reading because i i'm the type of person if i start something i need to finish it <laughs> so i'm gonna pick this book up after this book again because i've already said that i was gonna read this book i'm not gonna pick up any other books as far as i will not be dedicating my time and attention to any books other than this one and then after i read this one i will not be dedicating my time and attention 
to any books for a while because I really want to focus in on Ezekiel. I really feel like I should be further ahead uh, with reading Ezekiel and um, I just want to give all my time and attention and focus to studying the book, recording it for you guys because I want to document my journey. Another thing that I want to focus in on is prayer, spiritual warfare prayers for the month of September. I pray without ceasing consistently, but I know that the Lord wants me to focus on spiritual warfare because I, I had a dream. I'm a dreamer. That's one of my spiritual gifts. Yes, the weapons were forming, I mean, but they did not prosper. And that just, th that could mean several different things as far as, because I, I did have, and I still do have things that are going on that I'm just like, Lord, I'm so ready to be out of this. Um, but then at the same time, just not rushing through anything, but taking to taking the time to just really sit with what God is trying to show me and teach me what it is that I need to learn in this season. But you know, if the enemy is firing shots, I'm gonna fire them back. So even with my midnight prayers, like that kind of slowed down because I was tired. I was just like on the go traveling we back on it for the month of september midnight praying is back in full effect i have start like in july i did start reading this book and this book is so good so yes yeah, september we are being intentional with our ezekiel study we're being intentional with our prayer routines like getting back on my prayer routines like I said, I pray all day, every day. I'm in communion with God. But just having that an intentional prayer time where you are, where you set aside time to pray each day and even speaking in your heavenly language, I feel like that is so important. It makes a huge difference. I want September to be a month where I am literally immersing myself in God's word, like immersing myself in his word. In this season, like there's so much going on that if we're listening to every sermon that pops up on YouTube or tapping into every church service, like I feel like God really wants us to just really just tune into his voice, tune into to what he's saying so that you can hear his voice for yourself and just really um, know his word and not only know it but take time to apply his word and so I'm excited about just spending more time in God's word I know like for me I work from home so during my downtime I've spent time just you know reading the awe of God and then after work I've been doing, you know, a little bit of Bible study after work and then before bed doing a little, you know, devotional time. Whereas now going into September, like I really want to focus on during my day, during my downtime, focusing on Bible study, kind of switch things around like the time that I can, I'm able to sit still and be still the most is the time that I really want to be in the word. And then my wind down time will be me picking up the lighting in the Trinity and reading that. And then before bed, doing my intentional prayer time. Like that is how I want to structure my day to day in the month of September. Again, my daily downtime, spending majority of that in God's word winding down my evening by reading delighting in the trinity and then before bed having my intentional prayer time with god that's the structure that i want to have for the month of september for me it's about slowing down and being disciplined getting back into my routine you guys already know i've said this so many times i am a woman of routine and so getting back in, into uh, my routine. My routine got out of whack 
<laughs> because my month, my August was busy. I did order a new Bible, you guys. It's a Bible that has been on my Amazon wish list, and I saw that it was like twenty-one dollars, so I just went ahead and ordered it. It is the Apologetics Study Bible. What made me want to buy this book is I believe it was in my July intentions video. I was talking about how I really wanted to get into the foundations of Christianity. And with the foundation of Christianity, some of the resources that I wanted to buy so that I can study that because that's something that I want to do in the fall. One of the resources was Delighting in the Trinity because this book really sets the tone for my belief in the Trinity of God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Another one was Systematic Theology. I need to order those books, which I'll probably order those in a couple weeks. Um, these are things that I want to focus on you know for the fall and then along with systematic theology apologetics because apologetics with that apologetics is you're defending the faith but in order for you de to defend the faith of christianity you have to know the foundation of christianity you're basically defending the truth that that my faith in God, my faith in Christianity, my, my faith in Christ is true and there's factual evidence <laughs> to prove it. And there's historical evidence to prove that what I believe in is in fact true. That's apologetics. And I don't believe that God has called me to be an apologist, but what God has called me to to be and, and walk in, I believe that apologetics will come in handy because even in my personal walk with God, like why I believe in what I believe in. I purchased this Bible, I got it the day before yesterday, I believe. And last night I was reading, cause you guys of course know I'm in Ezekiel. And so I was reading the introduction to Ezekiel in this book. The introductions are different in this Bible than what you may see in your normal study Bible. Your introduction in an in in apologetic study Bible is going to be more so defending why this book is authentic. Why, for example, the book of Ezekiel, why this is an authentic book. Why, why should we believe that um, what Ezekiel is saying is true or um, what he's saying happened, happened. Well, with Ezekiel, we know Ezekiel wrote his, I should be saying this in the Ezekiel video, but it's fine. Um, we know, that, and I'm probably going to repeat this in my Ezekiel videos, but we know that Ezekiel wrote his own book. And Ezekiel was really good with dating things in a book. It was like a journal. So he journaled this book. So in his journal, he documented the things that were happening. So this is historical facts. So he's, he's documenting these historical facts. He's documenting his prophecies. So his prophetic words that God has given him. We know um, that Ezekiel ate the scroll. God put his word in Ezekiel mild. Ezekiel uh, prophesied, thus saith the Lord. And what Ezekiel prophesied came to pass. That's how we know that what Ezekiel has written that is a part of scripture is factual and true because it's documented, it's historically documented, and it's historically proven that these things happen. And so just for me to be able to defend my faith or ever in a situation where I need to defend my faith, even evangelism, like if we think about that, there needs to be some form of apologetics. You may run into someone who is an atheist and they just believe that the word of God isn't true, that it's made up. And I can be able to say, no, it's not made up. And this is why. Like You just never know. And with the great commission of Jesus Christ to go out and preach the gospel and make disciples, like I feel like for me personally, there needs to be some sort of education in apologetics and this is definitely for me as a beginner to apologetics and being introduced to apologetics the the starting point for me would be the apologetic study bible after doing some research then once I get familiar with this if I wanted to go deeper there are some books that were recommended to me by some apologists that 
I can purchase if I want to take it to the next level. If I feel like, hey, I, I like uh, this and I want to go further into this, then I can do that. But yes, I'm super excited about this apologetics bible so this is definitely something that i'll be reading so i have so many bibles study bibles and resources and when i tell you if i am reading my bible and i'm stuck on something i don't understand something and i and i pray and i consult with the holy spirit if i need to i feel like i have a nice collection of resources to be able to help me understand or even give me different perspectives. Now, these commentaries and these study Bibles that have commentary in them, they're not the Word of God. The, the Bible is the Word of God, and God's Word is God's Word. Um, and sometimes God's Word is hard to understand, but there's so many resources to help us understand. But I, I want to say, like, commentary is uh, man's view of the scripture. And so we're not always going to agree with some of the commentary that man writes, <laughs> and which is fine. I, I like and I enjoy different perspectives. As long as it's not teaching heresy, I'm good. I've learned that with, with Bible scholars and Bible teachers as well, you eat the meat and then you spit off the bones. If something doesn't agree with your spirit, you spit it out. But they may say something that does agree with your spirit and you chew on that meat. It's as simple as that. No, but somebody that's just like blankly like teaching heresy, absolutely not. One of my favorite study Bibles is the ESV study Bible. It has so many good articles in it. So many fantastic articles that I absolutely love. And another thing that um, attracted me to the Apologetics Study Bible is it has many different apologetics articles in here from different apologists. So here's an article here that says, did Jesus really rise from the dead? There is another article, how can Jesus's death bring forgiveness? The incarnation, could God become man without ceasing to be God? How should a Christian relate to a or to the new age movement? What is, what is divine revelation? Does the Bible teach reincarnation? How should Christians relate to culture? So yes, instead of going into September with, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. I want to make my September very less is more yeah not going into september with a whole bunch of things on my to-do list but i want my september to be effective i want to be effective in prayer i want to be effective in reading my word i want my I, i'm going into september with tunnel vision like just straight focus on god's word praying and just fellowshipping with him through prayer, fellowshipping with him through his word, through that devotional time, and even in my study time, because just having moments of just, you know, moments of awe, like even just me, like when I'm studying the introduction to Ezekiel, because I've been studying that and recording it, but there's just the awe of who God is, like just seeing his grace and his mercies and even because Ezekiel is a book of judgment and restoration so even with seeing God's judgment on Israel because of their sin I was I'm also able to see that he promises that restoration and, and there's just the awe of God of who he is like he doesn't leave us where we are he is with us in the midst of most of the hardest moments of our lives. And I don't want to talk too much because I want to sh save this for my Ezekiel videos, but just like in the midst of one of the hardest moments, toughest times in the history of Israel, the disaster that came upon them, which was justified because of their sin, yet God was still there in the midst of that. His 
presence was still there in the midst of that. We saw in chapter one that it starts with Ezekiel having this vision, this magnificent and great and awesome vision of God in the midst of that chaos. And even, and I've said this in, in my Ezekiel video, I believe it was the first one that I put out, even when God was removing his presence from the temple, he he left so slow. I was just reading something, I don't remember what chapter in Ezekiel, but it says his present moved to the east. Like he really didn't want to go, but even with his presence leaving the temple, he was still very much so present in those tough times. And and I'm just thinking about my own life and those those moments where I feel like I may cry out, God, where are you? But deep down inside, I know that he's right there with me. Um, it's just that sometimes as a father, he has to allow us to go through some things. Like he, he's a God, he's a father, a heavenly father, and, and we're his children, we're his daughters. And so he's, he's building up our faith and he's building up our character and he's making us strong <laughs> he's strengthening us strengthening us and so with all the complications and circumstances of life i'm just so thankful for his grace and i talked about this in another video like his daily grace and so i just want to just rest in his presence rest in his sovereignty rest in who he is see him throughout his word even in those moments of deep studying i just want to fellowship with him even in those moments of whatever september brings god is present with me as i walk into this new month <laughs> and i just pray for his strength i pray for him to just lead and guide my month and just to be led by the spirit of god like even though I'm setting these intentions, God, I just want you to have your way, whatever that looks like. Yeah, and I'm just so thankful for you guys supporting the channel. I hope that these videos are helpful and encouraging. But yeah, this is the month of just, I, I, I don't know, I feel something on September and I'm excited about it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, this is the fourth video this week. I'm excited just about the intentionality. You can tell my that I've kind of slowed down. Just the fact that I'm being able to record and upload just this frequently is a blessing. Yes, so I love you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on IG and yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cool.